more tools from Colney and Mann. These, I think, are drills um, or fire stones using uh, friction. Uh, I found so many of these repeated forms um, with the same details. Like each one has this drilled hole in the top, and then underneath there's a space in here where you put a piece of wood going across. You can fit it down and use it as a bow drill um, with an intersecting piece, or you could, of course, use it as a drill to make holes into um, wood, bone, leather, um, and stone, of course. In fact, one of these tools uh, means you'd be able to make more of them, which is what I think's happened here. Um, haven't seen these anywhere else. Um, they all fit well. They've got air spaces at the bottom for the um, air to come through. Space, a space in the bottom to put the tinder for fire lighting. That's the first one. Here's another one. The hole in the top, and then underneath, you can see there's these holes that go through. There's a strange material in this one. The yellowy, see, goes through there and then intersects. Here's the next one. A nice one, big hole in the top. And then underneath there's the space where you put the wood going across, a hole in the middle, and that would fit onto piece of wood or a stone or to make fire and there's, there's places for air to come underneath to allow um, ignition to take place. Here's the next one. Uh, cat's getting in the way actually. Uh, underneath, same thing again, places for intersecting pieces of wood, um, a drilled hole in the top. Here's the next one. Big hole in the top, and then underneath there's the space for the wood to go across. And this intersecting space in the middle. Here's another one. Drilled hole in the top, going through to this intersecting space underneath where pieces of wood. It's quite, some of them are quite complex actually. Here's a very simple one actually. It's just a hole in the top, the space at the bottom. It looks like something, you can see that here there's a groove where something's fitted across. Here's a, a larger version. Big hole in the top, goes through to this huge space underneath. Um, this one's quite interesting. This hole that goes all the way through, coming to this underneath, there's a space for the intersecting um, wood underneath, and there's a hole that goes all the way through. There it is. Hole that goes all the way through, it's at the bottom of it. So it's used from the side, comes in there into the space in the middle, which would provide heat. It could be used for chemical reactions, of course, of various materials, with the friction method as well. There's another one, different sort of stone this time, harder, heavier. Comes through to this space underneath where things can be fitted. This is an interesting one. It's another, it's a circular one, easy to hold. The hole is at the bottom there so it's used on the side and then underneath it's interesting because you've got this intersecting space with it looks like there's the remains of um, some material there that reddish colour it's also quite uh, fossilised and that would have been placed down on things and used from the side uh, the last one I'm going to show you is this one hole in the top coming into this open space underneath where pieces can be put. You could just use them by, hold, by holding them down and using a bow drill. Um, some of the tools that have actually been made from these, apart from 
those themselves. There's some, these are the drilled hold hand axes. I won't show you too much, I'll show you the holes which is what I'm focusing on. This is a, a nice tool, bird head shape, which is quite common here. But these holes are interesting. Here's another one. And they put these holes exactly where you'd expect them if you were going to put nails today to half this into a, um, a tool. Um, some other ones I have here. This one uh, has holes going through, but also this black pitch, pitchy colour. Beautiful axe head. And it's been hafted. I can't see the holes too clearly on that because of the light at the moment. Um, here's some other ones. This axe head is quite interesting. So that's the cutting edge. And the hole goes all the way through from there all the way through to there. So that would have been hafted, like that heavy part on the top. And the last one, another hole here, goes all the way through. This would have been used to half that as an axe head, uh, that way up, I should think. Um, and the last thing I wanted to show is just an interesting tool it looks like it could be a drill bit or something. The hole goes all the way through. There's the remains of something in the top there. And then it looks to me like they would have fitted something into there as a drill. And also, I have these boxes here with various chisel and drill bits. And a box here of more borers and um, awls and things um, but these fire lighting tools could easily be used as drills as well and um, I haven't seen these anywhere else but I'm sure anyone who's used to making fire using a bow drill method will recognize that having a tool like this keeps the spindle in place um, as you're actually making the friction and um, it would actually be easier than using them today. If you look on YouTube for anyone making fire with bow drills, if they use this to put the spindle in, they wouldn't need to put their foot on it to hold it in place. And by using a heavy um, spindle in here, it would easily create fire or drill holes. I think it's quite possible that um, to actually drill holes, they would have chipped away at the outside of the stone, maybe put some oil and sand in it, and it would grind holes as well. Either way, archaeologists say that early man didn't make holes in stone. <coughs> I think these, this artifacts, these, this collection, and these artifacts prove otherwise. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.